Okay, here we are, fine, um, Saturday morning, the last Saturday in August, I guess it's what, the 27th or 8th? We're out doing uh, drill and fill uh, of beech that we plan to harvest for firewood, some of which. There's a, there's a little pocket here, maybe an acre, <clears throat> of badly diseased beech, as you can see, that, that the logger, when we cut here in 2015, just went around, and of course some of it has grown since then. <clears throat> He did cut some, and anyway, so we're gonna, <coughs> in order to prevent sprouting, when we harvest this for firewood in a couple months, maybe, fairly soon, we wanna uh, kill the tree in advance. Using, instead of the hack and squirt, we're gonna use this drill and fill, where we drill holes in the tree using a cordless drill, my fest tool here, four amp battery, and the Husqvarna, uh, uh, pressured hand sprayer which holds uh, one and a half liters or 48 ounces of material we just recorded a separate video <clears throat> illustrating this basically it's instead of the like the typical hand pump bottle where you have to squeeze the trigger this this just uh, all you have to do is just you pump this up like this add pressure to the to the container which is filled with a 50 percent uh, uh, mix of glyphosate of the farmworks glyphosate and water so a 20 some percent solution of active ingredient and then um, you set the nozzle so it puts out a, a low pressure small stream we want to get about one milliliter in each uh, hole <clears throat> which um, is a, a 5 16 maple tapping bit outfitted with a, a piece of uh, maple tubing over that so that the depth is exactly one inch which so the volume of that cylinder is a little over one milliliter which is what you want per two inches of beach or any diameter of a hardwood so the way this goes is you just drill into the tree i'll go slower than i have been at about a 45 degree angle you put this nozzle in here and you just tap tap it twice very light <clears throat> and that, that fills that hole up if you want to zoom in there you can see the hole is now <clears throat> full of the herbicide solution, which the tree will take up and hopefully kill that, and the, the top and the root system. You would not do hack and squirt this time of year because of the sap pressure. So the equivalent injection technique probably wouldn't work because you wouldn't, um, the, it would push the sap out or a cut stump treatment would also be problematic. But here, because of the angle, I think I don't think gravity is going to allow that. To, that's going to be taken up into the sap stream before it ever gets pumped out. I think we're good to go. So I'm just going to do some work here a little bit and show how the technique goes. We've only been doing this for a half hour, <clears throat> but it's very fast. You just tap it. This, that, so that's a, we're telling by, we're actually doing a time study. That's a two inch tree, so that only gets one in a uh, hole. Here we have a, a 10 inch beach, so this will get what, five holes? One. Two. Three, four, and five. Okay, come on. Let's see here, this would be a four, so just two holes. Species, of course, equally around the summit of the tree. Okay. Here we got a, like a three, so I'm going to round down or up or whatever. This is two, so three, four. One. Two holes. Here's a five, six, so it's going to get three, one. Drilling a little lower here. The reason I like to drill right at that height. Right. Okay, we have a fill at a four, so just two holes. Four probably, week four, two holes. 
tree is dead already. There's one here, looks like three, two holes. So just two holes. I've got my festool here, drill set on high speed. You can, it's fancy, and you can set high torque. You know, if you need, if you're drilling into hard wood or whatever. But here, with these maple bits, they they are very fast. So yeah, I did that tree. So it's one drawback of this, according to Peter, and I'm beginning to see this. This is a four-inch tree, so two holes. It's a little harder to tell versus hack and squirt whether you've actually treated a tree because all you have is these little inconspicuous holes to so stay organized. And I tend to fall down so I gotta look down and watch I'm watching. So, okay, that's probably enough of an illustration.